Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm showing you how to claim your Google Knowledge Panel, not as a representative of a brand or company, but as the actual person the panel represents. Whether you're an artist, musician, public figure, or entrepreneur, this step-by-step -step guide will help you take full control of your own panel. For this video, I'll be using my band's panel, Music Found, as an example for demonstration. If you're looking to claim a panel on behalf of a band, label, or company, check out the other tutorial I've linked in the description. All right, let's jump in. First, head to Google and search for the exact name that shows up in your knowledge panel. When your panel appears, click on the three dots located right below the panel's name. In the drop-down menu, select Claim This Knowledge Panel. Next, you'll be taken to the verification page. Go ahead and click on the Get Verified button to begin the process. Here, sign into the Google account you want to use to manage your panel. Make sure this is an account you'll keep long-term, since this is the one you'll be using to access and update your knowledge panel in the future. Once you've signed in, you'll see a question that says, is music found the name of the person, organization, or entity you are trying to claim? Select yes. It shows music found in my case, because that's the panel I'm using as an example, but for you, it will show the name of your own panel. For the next question, choose, I am this person. We're selecting this because we are claiming the panel as the actual person it represents, not as a representative or agency. Even if your panel name isn't your full legal name, like mine, it still applies as long as the panel is clearly about you. Next, you'll be asked to explain why you're claiming this panel. You can say something like, I'm claiming this knowledge panel to manage and update my personal information, link my official online profiles, and ensure my Google representation is accurate and up to date. You can copy and adjust this, but I recommend writing your own reason to reflect your role. Once you're done, click Next to proceed to the identification section. In this section, enter your full legal name exactly as it appears on your government-issued photo ID. Then select your country and preferred language. Next, you'll need to upload a selfie of yourself holding your ID. Here are some examples of acceptable identification. A valid government-issued photo ID, such as a driver's license or national ID card. If you don't have one, you can use your birth certificate along with another form of ID that includes both your photo and your name. Please note that Google may request additional information, which could delay the verification process. To successfully submit your selfie, make sure your photo meets these requirements. It must be high quality and clear. The name on your photo ID must exactly match the legal name you provided earlier. Your entire face and the photo ID need to be in focus, and all text should be easy to read. Submit your file in one of these formats, JPG, JPEG, PNG, or PDF. For your privacy, please black out any sensitive information like your national ID number, home address, and date of birth. Now that you know the acceptable ID types and photo requirements, it's time to upload your selfie with your ID. Simply click the upload icon here, select your prepared image file from your device, and then click open to upload. Once uploaded, you're ready to move on to the next step. In the web profile section, you'll need to upload screenshots of two to five official web profiles that prove you own or manage your public presence. This could be your YouTube channel, Instagram profile, Spotify for Artists page, X account, or your official website. Each screenshot must show that you're logged in and have editing privileges. The name on your panel matches the name shown on the web profiles and the file size is under three megabytes. For example, in the first field, I'll paste Music Found's Instagram link here. Then I'll click on the upload icon, select the Instagram screenshot for Music Found and click open to upload it. Next, in the second field, I'll paste Music Found's YouTube link here. Then I'll click on the upload icon, select the YouTube screenshot for Music Found and click open to upload it. I've added two web profiles for this video, but just for your information, you can add up to five in total. All right, once you've finished uploading your screenshots and adding your profile links, go ahead and click Next to move on to the Acknowledgement section. In the Acknowledgement section, take a moment to read through this part. It explains how Google will use your information and documents strictly for verification purposes. Once you've reviewed and understood this, go ahead and check the box right here, and then Click Submit to send your verification request. Google will now review your claim, 
If accepted, you'll receive an email like this one confirming your ownership, along with access to your panel. From there, you can update links, suggest changes, and manage your online presence across Google. I hope this walkthrough helped you understand how to claim your personal knowledge panel the right way. See you in the next video.